Hello guys, a big welcome to this channel. My name is the truly inspiring Yamiche Boateng. I am happy to have you here on this channel. Like this video, share to your friends. The Black Stars of Ghana suffered a 4-0 humiliating defeat at the, on the hands of the USN, USMNT national team, the United States national team. And guys, it was really frustrating to watch. I complained about the Mexico game. And I'm thinking this was even worse than the Mexico game. And you know what? I want to tell you more about this video, this game in this video. So I'd like you to stay here. Let's get started, guys. I don't know why we play. We ended up playing this game. I don't see any positive from Chris Hutton after being the manager after close to a year. The Black Stars of Ghana has been absolutely shambolic. The Black Stars of Ghana has been absolutely disgusting to watch, frustrating to watch. We don't know what we are doing. I don't know if we want to build a mini man city where we are only passing the ball from the back. We don't have any sequence of attack. We don't even, we, I think we play only two shots on target two shots on target when Mama Kudus hit one ball and then I think Semenyo or something. It was really absolutely disgusting to watch. You know what? My first praise will probably go to Abdul Manaf Nuruddin, a goalkeeper for the day. He saved us on multiple times. This match could have been 7-0 in the first half. Even though he made some a lot of a lot of mistakes, he was trying to do a super goalkeeper role, finding the blasters play on the wide, on the weight, playing some very good football, finding the players. I think he was he's a better goalkeeper when it comes to kicking the ball than at Ziggy. But you know what? The whole blasters team was really, really abysmal. Let's talk about Nicolas Opokun. I heard Papa Papa Pukun say that he was our best defender in 2019. You know what? When we are no more in 2019, we are in 2023. I think Nicolas Opoku's time at the Black Stars is over. You know what? You can't play in Mexico and commit mistakes. I know that he's a good defender, but I don't think if Juku and then Amate and Salisu are all back, and then we have the core of the Black Stars, I don't think Nicolas Opoku will probably play for the Black Stars, especially when he plays for he plays for Amiens in the League Two. You know, we have to get the best player for the Black Stars of Ghana, and Nicolas Opoku was abysmal look you know what was really abysmal was uh, like he started this game for the first time for the blasters 25 year old center back very tall he has the same height like ellen harland he also made a mistake and then uh, uh, usa capitalized and then he scored i think the second or the third goal <laughs> kind of was everywhere but my problem is nicolas Pukum, why do you sit on the ball when you know it's an indirect free, free kick in the penalty box just when gideon mensa considered a penalty kick to Oh God, I don't know, Chris Hutton, what should we say? Chris Hutton, what are you doing with the Black Stars team? I don't think it's time for you to go yet, but no, we have to see improvement. You can't be a Black Stars head coach and after a year, no sign of improvement. If you play a five-back, you're conceding. If you play a four-back, you're conceding. So what is the problem? What is the problem with, uh, I don't know, the technical team, what are, what, are, what are our problems? And you know what? We have to up our game. Because, like I told you, every top team in Africa will beat Ghana. Every top team in Ghana will, in Africa will beat Ghana. Think of Egypt, Mali, Nigeria, Burkina Faso. They will all beat Ghana with cheeky ease. But you see, the Ghanaian fan will not let you talk, will not, will not listen to the truth because you probably think because we are Ghanaians, we're supposed to be patriotic. But no, football is not about patriotism anymore. We have to have the best players. Go and call. The best Ghanaian players in Europe, best Ghanaian players are in every position. Like Usu, if Lasha Usu is playing in Auxerre, he's not good enough. Bench him. Don't don't call him. Don't call him. Go and bring uh, Jeff Shilop. Go and bring Jeff Shilop. Go, go and bring Bernard Mensah. Go and bring a player who are playing good football. Back, back. You know what? If we don't do this, we can't come because the players are not good enough. Look at Gideon Mensah. For about two or three years now, we've been blasting Barbara Raman. Barbara Raman has sung. Barbara Raman has sung. Barbara Raman Nyadio. Barbara Raman. It has gave you two matches to play and you were all over the place. Gideon Mensa. And if Gideon Mensa cannot play against Sergio Dest, then then what? Imagine if you are facing the likes of uh, Trent, Trent Alexander Arnold and the top top wingers in a top match in the World Cup. And if we do not make positive changes in our Blasters team, we should forget about the World Cup. We are not going to any World Cup. The Blasters team has been has been shambolic for a long time. For a long time, but you know we covered it because we qualified for the World Cup, and the the signs are showing. 
the science has shown. Look at the United States. They didn't even play any. You know, if they wanted to score, they could have scored. I'm sure in the second half, the coach was like, oh, Monto Mbasa, I'm going to fall on more. I'm going to organize it. You get it. Hmm? Come and see Sergino Des playing football. Guys, we have a long way to go. We have a very long way to go. And my my question also for Christian is, why did you play at Monado for 90 minutes? Like, why? Explain. Is he the only player we have? Let's make good decisions with the Black Stars, too. Because if we don't make these decisions, it will affect us. It will affect us. So the only positive from this match was Mohamed Kudus hit a very powerful shot and Matena made sure it, didn't, it was not turning into the net. He was also very good, also kicking the ball. Like, like, like <laughs> guys, USA was really on top of their game yesterday. And I'm sad being a Ghanaian watching this match. I'm really, really sad watching this game. And I have another question also for Chris Hutin. Why don't we play Yebua on his daughter? Like, it's something that beats my, my mind. Ransford Yebua on his daughter. He always gets call ups, but never gets a chance to play. <laughs> like, why are we calling him? Is he that bad? Like, he can't even get a, a starting point. He can't even get five minutes in a friendly match against Mexico and then against Mexico and the United States. Then, when will he get a chance to play? He gets it in a friendly game. Why is he? There are people seeing him saying he's, he's there because of protocol. Is he there because of protocol? He has to play. Let's let's see what we have. <laughs> the striking problem too. So Ghana played two games, considered six goals, and Ghana wasn't able to score one goal. One goal. Hey, and someone is saying, eh, if we have Juku, eh, if we have Salisu, we will win the games. Look, you are not, not able to score goals. So if you have defenders, you still not score goals. There has to be some creative midfielders in our midf in our midfield. If Mohamed Kudus doesn't want to pass the ball and we have we are supposed to bench him, let's bench him because Kudus is not bigger than Ghana. Oh, Kudus is not bigger than Ghana. He's a fine player by all standards. But if Mohamed Kudus, Kudus doesn't want to pass the ball to Naki Williams and Semenyo, find another midf find another midfielder, find another attacking midfielder who can just pass the ball to a striker and let's get the goals. Ghana is struggling. Ghana is, and I'm, I'm I'm as a matter of fact I'm scared for Ghana now because you see. If a team like Mali meets us now, Mali is stronger than us. Mali is tactically brilliant than us. Mali has better players playing better leagues than us now. So what are we going to do? They are going to beat us. They are going to beat us. And if they beat us now, we will end up not qualifying for the World Cup because they will have more points than us. It's really a sad game. I watched this game and I was like, wow, wow, we are really far from the best. Let me also talk about Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu, I think I was impressed with Jordan Ayu. Look, if you see a player who plays in the EPO, you can clearly see. Jordan Ayu came in and then made sure everything was calm. He came to the midfield in the, in the second half, taking place as a midfielder, passing the ball, he left here. For me, I was impressed because, you see, we have seen him as a striker and he wasn't really impressing me. I think what I watched of him yesterday, he was not really bad. Let's get the best for the Blasters of Ghana. I think Ghana will, come, will, will probably pick form if all things are better for us. The best is yet to come. Thank you for watching this video. The best is yet to come.